Did you see that Bitcoin breakout? Did you see the video I did last night discussing the likelihood that this was going to happen? And I actually, I should rephrase that. The data was telling all of us that this was likely to happen. But what should we be watching in the hours ahead after this breakout had just happened? What's up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Subscribe, hit that like on the way in. Let's jump into the video. So actually, first, I want to I want to play this quick clip from, I mean, this was from last night, but I tweeted, I told you last night a Bitcoin breakout was coming. I just tweeted this earlier today, like an hour ago. Clearly there, but you can also see the support clearly here at the lower trend line. And we are approaching the average breakout target right around 74%, October 20th, a big, a big deal. Uh, if you're if you're watching Bitcoin in the short term, so I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, everybody, but we've been tracking these moves for Bitcoin so consistently, and I'm not patting myself on the back because I'm just following rules. I'm following the consistencies and the data that is found on the Bitcoin charts, and I'm sharing it with you. But you know, we were tracking this larger symmetrical triangle for a while before it even was a symmetrical triangle. We had a target breakout for that, right around 74% to the apex. We broke out right after. Now we had a target breakout for uh, this current symmetrical triangle. We've broken out right before the, the 74 to the apex, 74% to the apex. That would have been tomorrow. Now, I know the move is nothing crazy. It's like just over 2% of a move as of right now, but it's key because we're breaking a trend line right now. And this could be confirmation that something uh, truly is getting ready to happen. And the reason for that is not only because we have this short-term breakout, the target breakout area is like 12,200. It's nothing crazy, but the confluence and everything happening on the macro charts is what is crazy to me. Here's a line right here. You see this line we're approaching. Uh, in the thumbnail, I say we're 1% away from something big. That is what we're around 1% away from, a little bit over 1% away from this 786 line. If I zoom out on this chart, that is simply the August swing high back here, right? To the swing low down in September. And I know I'm all messy right here. And actually, let me just, I'm going to chart it for you real quick. So swing high, August, swing low, September. And this is what we're looking at. Bitcoin testing a very key 786 line up here. That is a resistance line. We're in the channel right now of resistance. What's going to happen here? And we've already kind of seen resistance just below. If you see this wick on the six hour chart, the reason why this is so important is because on these long term charts, and we've been discussing this is like we have this bull market high. We have a lower high last summer, a potential lower high now. And in that lower high last summer, you see this. It's a series of actually little lower highs and then rejection, right? And we're getting a similar setup right now on these charts. Here's the August swing high potentially putting in a short-term lower high to really define this long-term lower high and we could be going down. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it's potentially what is happening right now. You might be feeling good seeing Bitcoin in the green, but we're at a very, very important key resistance area. August swing high right here back in you know mid-August, and then we're currently putting in potentially a lower high from there. We want to see Bitcoin 1% away from this area, we want to see Bitcoin break and see continuation up through this Fibonacci retracement. Everybody, this is the area to watch today. We're talking about 11,900. Can Bitcoin see continuation to that area? Now, we know this is the Fibonacci retracement, right? This is the short-term resistance to 11,900 we're looking at. But what's so amazing to me, and I just, I really love this chart, is if you look at uh, the last summer swing high, right, back here, uh, and we take our longer term Fibonacci from that last summer swing high to March. I, I really like charting this right now, this Fibonacci retracement, and I've been charting it for you. We're in the Fibonacci uh, resistance, right? But, and, and this is a different one than the short term we're looking at over here. This is a different Fibonacci, short term Fibonacci here. We're testing the 786 line, right? 11,900. What I love that's happening right now, this macro long term Fibonacci, everybody, the 786 on that, we are literally there right now. Let me actually, I wanna zoom in on this. This is a daily chart. I just wanna kinda of get in here uh, and just show you. Look at where Bitcoin is on this daily candle. We are at this long-term 786 line for Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, you can see, it did You kinda of get up above in August, came back down though. 
we're testing it once again. And what we want to look for is basically what we saw uh, in the swing high last summer. And I wanna illustrate this for you. So uh, let me chart the Fibonacci retracement, same exact type, but the, the, the bull market high to the bear market low, uh, and then it's the setup for the swing high, lower high last summer. But you can see what Bitcoin did then. It wicked into that area very, very briefly, right? Very short term, it failed. It really didn't even test it. So that's one thing that's different this time around. Bitcoin, if you look at this new Fibonacci from that last summer swing high to March swing low, Bitcoin's testing it like crazy, right? We are in it. We've been testing it for months now, uh, beginning of or August, basically. And once again, testing the 786. Everybody, the charts right now are ridiculous. It couldn't be more exciting from a technical analysis perspective. This is gonna be a short video. I'm recruiting all day. I've got like a ton of calls. I gotta hop off of this video. Wanted to give you a quick update because we did get the breakout, 12,200 target. Don't forget, uh, if we're looking at this, uh, this midterm chart, the six hour, we also have the 12,500 target from this symmetrical triangle, Bitcoin, uh, hopefully, in a continuation pattern right here to continue to that 12,500 target, the most bullish thing that could happen for Bitcoin right now. We'll be tracking it. I might do another video later tonight if we get some movement. Who knows? Bitcoin might be trading sideways now. Might come back down and test this apex of the symmetrical triangle we just broke out of. 11,400 to 500 would not surprise me at all right now. Time will tell. Uh, I just want to give a quick update on what's going on with Bitcoin. We'll update you later if need be. Have an awesome day. Hit that subscribe. If you're not a subscriber for the very best Bitcoin technical analysis, hit that like as well. It means a lot to me. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.